Hi, this is Beth Dickey with Big Yield, and we're out in Chesapeake, Virginia today with farmer Curtis Wolfarth, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about what he's been seeing out in the cornfields as we're scouting and talk a little bit about our BP and furrow. Hey, um, we're in a cornfield, belongs to H.M. Dudley here in Chesapeake, Virginia, and he planted about 300 acres of BP and furrow and we did about 25 acres of nine BP and fro for check. Same variety, same land. And as the corn was earlier, back in, in the April 1st of May, first thing we were noticing the difference is the BP and fro, we had a lot bigger root ball, bigger structure, a lot more hairs. Brace roots were bigger. We had a darker colored corn. We had less yellowing in the leaves. And this is just side by side comparison. Everything got the same, just corn with BP and, and corn without it. Now we've gotten farther into the season and we're looking at maturity corn. This corn is just about black layered. It's not quite, but it's almost there. And it's just starting about three or four days. It should be black layered and starting to dry down. Um, where we had the BP and furrow, we're getting 16 to 18 rows around the corn. We got good healthy corn. And without the BP and furrow, that being said, we still got 14 to 16 rows. But we've got a solid 16 to 18 rows on every year with the BP and Pro. We've got good healthy grains, it's got good color, it's got good size. The ears are filled out to the ends. They're nice filled out ears. All the ears are uniform, they're a flex ear, they all did very well. We had a lot of heat on this corn this year and it's been a little stressful, but the ears still flex girthy. Maybe not quite in length, but it still flex girth. They had some stress early on it. And with all these things, the difference is still going to be with the machine. Once we put our machine in the field, we'll have a way wagon. We want to do the test. You can have all the prettiest corn in the world. It looks good. But we're still about making a living and paying the bills. So the yield the monitor, well, the yield monitor doesn't really count as much. The way wagon is the big thing in knowing your acres. And then we'll find out, and I'll come get back with you at what the yield difference will be and how, how much difference it made from BP to non BP and furrow. Great. Thank you, Curtis. And just uh, quickly, could you tell us um, how easy the product is to work with? What have you found? I noticed that it's really clean. We use the uh, Keats Infro system. We didn't have no plug-ups. We didn't have any trouble. It's just four gallons an acre, and our machine set for eight, so we had four gallons of BP Infro, four gallons of water dilution, and put it in furrow, and it's just smooth and simple. It's, it's just... It's just nothing to it. No plug-ups, no strainers, no nothing. Well, we like to hear that. Thank you again, Curtis, for being with us today. We appreciate it.